So the Sega Genesis is a great looking system when it's clean. However, we're not going to be talking about this pristine looking system. We're going to be talking about this one, which is absolutely filthy. It's honestly the dirtiest Sega Genesis system I've ever seen. It's covered with dirt, dust, and grime. But the question is, can I get this looking like new? Now to take apart the Genesis, you're going to want to turn it over and there's going to be four screws on the back, one in each corner as you can see. Then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to try to take this cover off. Now I'm having a really hard time because there's just so much grime built up. I just can't physically take it off. I can see it, it's stuck on there pretty well. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take out these screws. Like I said, they're just regular Phillips, so you don't need any special bits like any Nintendo systems. So it's very, very simple to take apart. Now, after you take those screws out, you should just be able to lift up the top. However, this one, like I said, it was just so dirty, filled with grime that it just wasn't coming apart. So I'm going to take this opportunity to actually take out uh, that little expansion cover for the Sega CD. So I was able to pop that off. It was absolutely filthy. After I did that, uh, I just grabbed like a little spudger tool and just broke apart the back. And when I did, Oh my god, I was shocked by how dirty this thing was. Uh, I knew the outside was dirty, but the inside was even worse. There was some corrosion on the contacts uh, in the game slot. Some of the screws are super rusty, which we'll get into in a little bit. Then you just want to take off all the screws for the RF shielding, and from there you should be good to go. Now, the screw that I'm working on right now, I thought I was able to get it out, but it turns out it was so rusty that it just it started stripping. So I ended up having to carefully uh, just take a Dremel with a cutting tool and cut slots into it. This way I can use a large enough flathead to take it out. Now here is a closer look at the cartridge slot. Uh, there's quite a bit of corrosion on the inside and rust next to it. Uh, overall, the board is extremely dirty, especially these controller ports, but I should be able to get this clean. Now, these are two screws that I had to cut into uh, in order to take them out. I don't have replacements, unfortunately, but if you take a look at the plastics, they are absolutely filthy. Now, I'm just gonna use a cheap electric toothbrush. I think it was like five bucks and some Dawn dish soap and just get this all clean, so. Uh, I ended up having to wash this like two or three times just to get everything out. Now back to the board, I'm just going to use some canned air and just spray off all the dust and big chunks of just dust and dirt and whatever is in there uh, just to try to get it as clean as possible. Then I'm just going to take uh, that same toothbrush and some rubbing alcohol and just try to clean the board up the best I can. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have any electrical contact cleaner, which is what I would normally use. So I'm just going to use, like I said, 91% rubbing alcohol on a toothbrush and just scrub down the board a little bit and try to get uh, that corrosion off of those contacts.
Then I'm going to turn the board over and try to clean as much of the board on the back as I can. Uh, as you can see, it's really dirty as well. And I didn't want to leave this because I didn't want that to end up being uh, turned into like corrosion and ruin the back of the board. So I was able to get a lot of that corrosion off of the cartridge slot. However, this board is still absolutely filthy, so I'm going to have to come back to this and clean it up a little bit later. So I let everything dry for about a day, then I went back to the board and cleaned it with some Windex and that same toothbrush and just scrubbed it for a good 45 minutes. Still not perfect, but it looks better. As far as the plastics go, uh, there's some weird like spotting on the shell that I couldn't get removed and it looks dull. We'll be able to fix that though. Now in order to make the plastics look better, I'm just going to use Pledge. You can also use plastic polish, but pledge is a little bit easier to get. Now I'm putting everything back together. I was able to replace one of the rusty screws. However, the one for the cartridge slot, I was not able to replace because I didn't have one that size. So now I'm just going to coat it with Pledge and then just wipe it off and I'll do this probably about four times uh, just to try to get it look as shiny as possible. So as you can see, it looks a lot better. It's still not perfect, but it looks a lot better. Uh, even the back, which was really, really bad, looks great. So the next thing to do is to see if it works.
and just like that it works just fine now it did take about four tries to actually get it to work properly uh, there's still some corrosion on that cartridge slot so I will have to take care of that but overall it works and sounds great like I said it's not perfect but it's a lot better than what it was well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already, and I'll see you guys next time.